And let's just say tech sales isn't for you because you understand tech sales is not for you. Well, you want to break into cybersecurity because you have an interest in the cybersecurity. It is one of the fastest growing professions in the U.S. Not in the U.S., in the world. It is one of the fastest growing professions in the world. What is cybersecurity, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. In its simplest form, cybersecurity is nothing other than you working for a company and you being the person that protects their data and protects their assets, other assets as in human capital assets. You have a whole bunch of information. If you're working for Microsoft, let's just use that as an example. If you're working for Microsoft, you have a whole bunch of information. You got your spreadsheets, you have all of the PowerPoints that you're doing, all this other stuff. Well, that information needs to be protected. You don't want, you know, Sam the hacker to be, get access to that. So cybersecurity professionals help companies like Microsoft to protect their assets, their data, their people. Why is it important? Because everything, for the most part, is transacted online now. And if you, if there's a breach, it costs companies millions and millions and millions of dollars. So to stop that from happening, companies hire people in cybersecurity positions to avoid or to eliminate those risks. It could be as simple as, you know what? Somebody sending you a email or a you getting a text message from somebody that sounds like your boss saying, hey, you know what? Go buy these gift cards because that's happened. Go spend your money, buy these gift cards. Give me the gift card numbers and send it to me on text message. That's a cybersecurity risk. Or, hey, go wire me this money. Those are all cybersecurity risks and threats. Sorry, I didn't understand. I'm not talking to you, Google. <laughs> but a cybersecurity professional helps companies protect their data in its simplest form, protect their assets in its simplest form. And you can become a cybersecurity professional in as little as six weeks. We've partnered with Level Careers. Go and check them out. www.levelcareers.com. You'll see the link in the description as well, too. That course that they drop is ran and taught by Josh Modicar, who is a fantastic instructor, a fantastic content creator as well, too. And the course was $497. Now it's going up to $997, and he has over 500 people in it, a great community and so forth. If you want to break into cybersecurity, check out Level Careers. Average salary for a person in a information security analyst role or at or a security operating center analyst is $97,000, guys. If sales isn't for you, break into cybersecurity. A great field to be in, especially now, because there's a shortage of cybersecurity professionals that exist out there. They need you, and they're going to pay you a lot of money if you have the skills to be able to get it done. This is why cybersecurity is hot right now. This is why tech sales is hot right now. Tech sales is hot because companies need to grow their revenue. They need to save their revenue. And they're going to invest into salespeople because salespeople are closer to the customer. You guys have heard me say it all the time. When you're closer to the customer, you're going to get paid more and you're going to keep your job a lot longer. When you're able to bring in revenue, you're going to get paid more and you're going to keep your job. You're going to have more job security. And the, other case of cybersecurity, when you are needed to protect people and companies and their assets, you're going to get paid a good amount of money. And you're always, and you're going to keep a job for the most part as well, too. They need cybersecurity professionals. There's over 700,000 cybersecurity roles that are out there. And you see a whole bunch of people coming out with different ways so that they can educate you to get ready to break into cybersecurity or to make the transition in cybersecurity. We've partnered with Level Careers. Go and check them out. Go and check them out. Link in the description. There are others that exist out there that we support as well too. Brother Master IT, Brother Kev Tech IT Support. All these guys will get you into cybersecurity, just different flavors of it. Check out Master IT. Link in the description of this video as well too. He may be your cup of tea. Check him out. He has a fantastic YouTube channel, Kev Tech IT Support, another great content creator. 
fantastic YouTuber. Will help you get into IT, system admin roles, cybersecurity. Check them out. And will help you do it for little cost. If CavTech is your cup of tea, go and do it. He's my cup of tea. He's my, Master IT. He's my cup of tea. One of the things that I always told the other day, it's like, man, Antoine, man, you, um, you're pretty open with who do you support and who you do partnerships with. I'm like, no, I'm not open at all. But I'm open with the people that I rock with that I know can deliver results. That's level careers, that's course careers, that's master IT, that's Kev Tech IT support. And although many of us are in the same area, we can all get it. Just because level careers or Josh doesn't resonate with you doesn't mean that master IT can't. Doesn't mean that Kev Tech can't. And people ask, why do you promote other people's stuff that are in the same space as you, Antoine? Because I want to help. There's enough food on this table that everybody can eat. When you have a mindset like that of abundance, you're going to get it. I want everybody to eat. I like to say this. I have a guy for everything. <laughs> I have a guy for tech support, IT support, marketing, project management. I have a guy, gal for everything. If you want to be a fantastic tech saleswoman, I have, a girl, I have multiple girls that can help you with that. You don't have to get your information from me. I may not be your cup of tea. You may have a different mentality. You may say, hey, you know what, Antoine? I don't like what you said with your victim mentality speech that you said today, so I ain't rocking with you. That's fine. But there's somebody else who can help, you can rock with, that I completely support. And you can come to me and I will give you their information. I'm no, I know I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea, and that's fine. And I'm not everybody's cup of tea from a customer standpoint as well. Everybody doesn't like how I sell. That's fine. I can pass the ball off to somebody else that they resonate with. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to have a mentality of non-abundance or lack of abundance. I'm going to promote people so that they can help you if I can't. I didn't shout out another person, a brother PBO. You need help in cybersecurity, you want to check out Professor Black Ops. Big bro, when you have people in your network, you are valuable. And I may not be the person that resonates with you, and that's fine. That is completely fine. But there are people in the network that can, all right? Guys, I know this was a bit of an interesting show today. I wanted to come to you guys to talk to you about the victim mentality and use Cam Newton as an example. I may not have been crystal clear. It is what it is. I have lack of preparation for the show today, but you know, I'm here. I'm here. That's what's important. You guys are getting the message. You can do what you want. You can do it how you want, especially in your own house that you build. Until then, you got to follow the rules. And when you follow those rules, you can still get to where you ultimately want to get to. You want to make $500,000 a year, you can do that. Increase your skills. Learn. Get around the right people. Get around the right people. And you will see that you'll win. You will see that you'll win. Just don't come around me with the, I got dreads, so they won't let me in sales. God damn! Because <laughs> if you're looking for me to give you some sort of like feedback, I'm going to say, well, cut your goddamn hair then, man. <laughs> if you want to get into sales... And people aren't letting you in because you got dreads. Cut your damn hair then, man. You're not going to expect, I hope, you're going to, you, you, you guys don't come to me with, hey, you know what, man? Antoine, feel bad for me. I'm going to say, hell no. It's not what's going to happen. It's not what's going to happen at all. I'm not going to feel bad for you at all one bit. If you say, Antoine, you know what? They won't let me into sales because I'm 500. And when I walk, I get tired. And when I'm talking on the phone to a customer, I can't speak clearly. I'm going to say, well, damn, man, lose some damn weight. God damn. That's it. Go for a walk. If you're expecting for me to say, oh, it's okay, buddy. Mm, it's not going to happen. We don't live in a fairy tale life. We know that there's rules that apply and then rules that are broken and so forth. It is what it is. We know. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm having fun today, but 
Uh, I got to say this, man. I appreciate each and every one of you guys today. Because there's times where I tell myself that I don't want to show up, but I have to. And I'm committed to showing up. And guys, I appreciate you. Brother Gibran, thank you so much for the 1999 Super Chats. He said, excuses are tools of the incompetence used to build bridges to nowhere and monuments of nothingness. And those who use them seldom specialize in anything else. I agree, my man. I agree. I appreciate the 1999 Super Chat as well, too. Guys, you go and have a good rest of your day. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and we'll see you guys soon, okay? Keep me and my family in your prayers is another thing that I would ask. We have a little one with her big surgery date coming up, and uh, we can use the prayers. So uh, keep us in your prayers, and uh, that's one ask that I have for you guys today. And until next time, guys, peace.